Upgrading to LED indicators, Ninja 250 riders can experience problems with both indicators turning on at the same time. I'll just demonstrate this for you. So I'll turn on the right indicator and now you can see the left one is flashing. So the right one's flashing away and the left one is flashing as well. Also another problem you can find is with your integrated tail lights. So mine does this, which isn't the way it's supposed to function. There are two solutions to this problem. One is by taking the dashboard out and cutting a few wires and splicing. That sounds quite messy to me, so I decided to take the other option, which is by buying a diode harness kit. The harnesses you have to access are just around this area, so what you have to do is take the fairings off. Um, it's a very easy job. Um, there are loads of videos on how to undo the fairings, so I think I'll leave that out. So, once you get the fairings off, you locate the harness just here, and what you want to do is disconnect the 9-pin connector here and the 3-pin connector. You don't have to worry about the 2-pin connector, and it's quite simple to remove these connectors. I use this one as an example. You just push down on that tab, and then you just pull it apart. So next, what you want to do is disconnect the green wire, and on the instructions it says you have to use a small screwdriver to bend the pins back. It will be a bit difficult for me to record so unfortunately I won't record that. What you want to do is put the mini screwdriver on the right hand side of the pin and you just pry it in there and you pull it on the other side. I've already disconnected it so you just pull it out. Okay so now you've got the green wire out your 9 pin connector uh, the tab that you pushed in, what you want to do is now pull it out so you can put it into the next connector. Alright, so now what you want to do is connect the green wire into your 3 pin connector. In the instruction manual it doesn't mention this middle wire, but it could be because this is a UK bike. So what you want to do is disconnect the middle wire just like you did with the green wire, and then place this in there. So the green wire is in the 3 pin connector. So now what you want to do is grab your wiring harness and the blue wire, you want to put that in where you disconnected the green wire. After that's done, it's just a simple matter of plug and play. So you put your new harness in with the old one. So now that's all connected up. The last job is to connect the ground wire. What you have to do is unbolt that nut and just put this in between. Now that's all the wiring done with. Uh, I'm just going to tidy it up after this video. I'm just going to connect up the old indicators and see if that's worked. So I've connected the indicators back up and now it's the moment of truth. Let's see if it's worked. So I'll put the right indicator on. It hasn't The left indicator hasn't turned on so it seems fine. Now the left indicator that's worked and let's go to the other side and yep it doesn't light up let's check the tail excellent the tails working as it should um, and that's it really you just have to put the fairings back on and you're done with it's only a really a ten minute job obviously it took me longer because I was filming this well it took me about four hours but still I got it done so the green wire that I disconnected from the 3 pin connector is related to the fuel injection, well I think anyway. I've just noticed that when I turn the key, the fuel injection indicator is now red instead of the amber colour. Uh, I hope that's the only issue I'll have because, to be honest, I'm not too fussed, it only turns on for a second. I think that's the only issue with it, I mean the bike starts fine so there's nothing wrong with the fuel injection, as you can hit here. <laughs> Alright, so I'm now going to go out for a ride just to see if there is anything wrong with the fuel injection system. So I went out for a 
ride, got the bike up to operating temperature and there seems to be no issue. 